Here's something I wish I knew earlier. So life is basically like a jigsaw. And the issue that we have is we don't realize that it is a jigsaw because ultimately as we go along through life and have experiences, have interactions and show up on a day-to-day -day basis, it just becomes muddled and we obviously don't have the edges that we'd normally associate with a jigsaw. But the reason we don't have those edges is one, because we haven't had the full picture yet. And two, because we actually don't operate within jigsaw pieces. What we do is we get building blocks. So similar to those irritating and annoying pieces of Lego that conveniently show up under your feet and on the floor. So what we then have to do is we have to sort and arrange these jigsaw pieces, but through association as building blocks. And that's how we subsequently go through life, creating our identity. We then create a foundation upon which we can survive and we can cope with whatever the environment or whatever our life throws at us. And we then subsequently spend the rest of our life building that structure up in order to eventually get to the place whereby the end jigsaw and all the pieces subsequently are placed together in a structured and organized manner so that we can then review and look back on our life as a plan of, well, what did we kind of achieve or what were we aiming to achieve and how much progress and success have we had in getting to kind of that stage. So as we get these building blocks, we get them at different varying times. We also have experiences that show up, say, in the first seven years, but then we wouldn't necessarily get a secondary phase until the following seven years. So at that time, we've already built a subsequent structure. And that structure itself will then literally determine how we then spend the rest of our life from that point forward. So because we're looking at it from that place of structure, we will then carry anything that's not sustainable, anything that's unhealthy, anything that's out of balance, anything that needs to be healed through into that secondary phase for it then to change form and be shown to us from a different perspective. And then we do that through multiple phases of life. And the idea is basically to collect the same color bricks and arrange the jigsaw as independent jigsaws so that we can subsequently have an entirely red jigsaw made of red building blocks at the end of it. And then as with all computer systems and as with everything that's filed, we can then subsequently file that under, this is the red puzzle piece or the red jigsaw. And in doing so, we can then put to rest anything that is associated with that life lesson. And then as we go through life doing all of these things, we can then start to go away from our lessons and our growth and our development and actually become more productive in terms of our outputs. And those outputs then become beneficial for those around us that are going through similar experiences or also trying to get past different phases or different blocks or challenges within their own life. So the whole puzzle in itself is vast. And I mean, from what I've covered, it's just an overview. But when you have a look at how these structures are created, how they're put together, then you get yourself into a position whereby you realize that it's a really complex system. And this is why so many people can't make sense of it or get out of it. So if you feel like you're having any issues or there's problems that you can't quite get your head around, drop a message or a comment in the section below. And I'm happy to sort of see if I can unravel anything for you. Until next time, trust the process. And it's bye for now.